All right, this will be video number two of, I believe, five of little tips in gameplay for a few of the weapons I've been requested and also been interested in wanting to play a bit more of. Uh, th this one will be for the splash o -matic. Uh, My build in particular, I guess we'll start off with that, is more of a support build, if anything, because I feel like that's just what the person recommended and also kind of flexes around my own playstyle as well being more of a support player. A splash is a really strong weapon, especially in this version of the game, which is 2.1.0 with Crab Tank and Burst Bomb. My build kind of consists of three main abilities, Swim Speed, Special Charge, and Sub Power Up. Swim Speed, again, for that movement, engaging, disengaging, adjusting aim, all those sorts of things, splash can do it. Uh, Special Charge, again, I'll be playing this a bit more supportively, so you'll be seeing just charge your crab most times and probably set up more defensive or in uh, offensive positions, more aggro positions with crab if needed. And a bit of sub saver because we want a little bit more burst bombs and also a few more shots after we've thrown a few more burst bombs. Okay, this will be the common theme, me throwing burst bombs. And then your typical subs, quick super jump and incras. I don't know why I couldn't think of it for a sec there, but again, your typical subs. A quick super jump out if needed, and also that ink resistance. It's always nice to have. Uh, I guess I haven't explained too much about sub power up. I mainly use it to cut people off, or whether it be in front or behind. That way I can give myself space, or just use it for chip damage and combo just to make splash a three shot weapon if I'm within range. And with that, I think we'll do a few series matches, and that'll be this video. It'll be Clam Blitz. This is kind of a continuation from where we left off with the Forge. So I might need to get slightly adjusted, but no big deal. The one great thing about Splash is comboing with Burst Bonds to make it a three shot weapon, as well as its movement as well. Skill time painting ability, so it paints really nicely for itself. And that's also another reason why I'm playing it somewhat more supportively. And because of that painting ability, I'm able to get crab super quickly along with that special charge, so it just makes it even more quicker. And that's what makes it super nice, especially for support. You can play support, aggro, mostly a combo between those two, but it can flex between those if needed. Is taking a bit longer than I would have liked, but beggars can't be choosers. So we'll just chill out for a bit, hopefully, find one sooner than later. If not, we'll just keep going, keep rambling a little bit. I guess I've also forgot that I mentioned stealth jump. Again, with those aggro shooters, chargers exist, and getting picked up by a charger when jumping in is never a fun time. And also getting camped by bombs. People are skilled enough, they can just camp you jump with this spot bomb, suction bomb. And that's never fun, it's just a pick that you really don't want to experience. Alright. And they have a very aggro flank heavy comp, so I want to be very careful with it. Yeah, I'm going to place a bit slightly more supportive, but I'll definitely move up when I can and need to. If I check the flanks and probably crab. Yes, you took. Let's see if we can crab cut him off. Our teammate's able to follow up on it, which is good. First one to help him out, but we get the pick in the end. I just want to pay attention to where that Hydra is. We will push up with the Ink Strikes. And we'll step on this glass area. They use Ink Strikes to get us off, so it's like one less special they have. The Hydra is able to take it, so we'll just go back off and paint for a little bit. We had Suka out, but. That's okay. Hagglefish is a very stall heavy map. So if you're able to get on, uh, get on, get a good push going, 
it'll probably be a really strong push. But overall, it's really a stally. I'll save the ball. Don't really want to feed yet. Because again, I'm marked with the ball. That's why I mainly just hold my ground. While they're using specials. That guy is weak. This guy's wanting to push my teammates, so I'll help him out. And then I push up with the ball, but I don't want to, because the Hydra... I have Crab Ray, so I might give this ball to one of my teammates. I don't have to move up because of Booyah. Once again, the pillow. He overextended, so we want to punish it. If we can climb up and get the ball, that'd be good. Now we know where that ball user is, so I can keep track of that. I'm gonna throw first one to see if I can help my teammates a little bit. Be able to support him from the back. That's fine. Again, super stall heavy. Unfortunately, we got sharks. We could. What could have happened was that we could paint it over, just so that shot didn't really strike us quite well. I guess especially with Ninja Squid, if you pay attention to the top right, both uh, splash shots have Ninja Squid. I'll try to be a bit more aggressive, a bit more creative. See if I can create an opening. I thought the rail would, would actually paint up quicker, but I guess not. So we're just kind of left with um, getting back into mid. So I'll poke with first bombs, help our teammates again. Again, get that paint. Paint over to Booyah, help get our crab. Apples fed. So we punish him. I'm gonna craft from the left side. I saw a T Tech on the right side, not. Again, adjusting your aim. That's why made the engagement tough for them. Hydra's sitting on the ramp, so probably want to bomb them out. Get the back up, we overextend. That's a personal weakness of mine. I always underestimate Hydra's, you don't really want to underestimate the spot as a whole. So they can't pick you off quite quickly. Let's see, first I'll help our teammate. Uh, don't overextend to the Hydra. Campaign around. Detect to show themselves. Come off with the burst bomb. Now we just kind of have to stall because it's only spy shots still up. Yeah, this is okay because don't have a lot of climb, so we know we can just wait this out. And using specials really early as well. Oh, there's a pill up there. That's kind of ignorance on my part. Again, letting them use their specials early. I saw the dapples under the glass there. So again, we're going to do what we can just to stall and hold, because we're the only one up. They want a triple ink strike, sure. Now they're going to jump in. We don't want them to throw the ball. I have no idea where he went. <laughs> We're fine for now, so now we just want to get our own plan. And almost like build specials again, that's what we want to do. We just want to brute force specials. Now the Hydra's weak. Now he's dead. We can get these staffles, there we go. And we took advantage of the numbers. I don't know why the game's not ending. 
That was just mostly lag. Some mistakes there, again, mostly due to lack of respect, but also some good things as well with poking with burst bombs and also just stalling in defense and waiting for our team. Because if I just dropped into the opposing team there, they could have just scored the ball, or like the shot, initial shot could have sh bleh, scored the ball, and that would have been game there. But instead we actually wait burst bomb and not come off from scoring. So we're able to defend and make our own push. I felt lucky enough to beat those dapples to the punch or beat them to the basket. Because that was a bit risky, I could have painted over. But I was a bit unsure where the dapples were. I could have assumed that they were shirking, and that's also kind of a safe thing to assume with like any drop or wide open area you don't have map control of. Again, safe thing, paint over it, burst bomb, that sort of thing. That way you know for sure that the area is safe and you can actually drop and move. So I could have totally gotten picking off there if Dapples planted the shots. But we were fortunate enough to have them not do that. <laughs> Our crabs were okay. I'm not the most proficient with Crab Tank, but they are enough to cause pressure or again have teammates follow up on them. As they're doing what they said in my Forge video, since the attention's on me, my teammates are able to engage a lot more uh, safer. Just gotta wait for our next game. I didn't pay attention to how many crowds we got that last game. We only got three, but you can honestly get more. I was playing a bit more aggro. Some people get like six, especially in like zones games. You mainly just kind of want to charge crowds because that's just mainly your gateway to get back into zone or get back into the area to where you can actually make the zone without being like aggressed or challenged. But we finally found a game, which is nice. I'll try to be a bit more supportive. Ma er, I almost said Manta. Mahi Mahi Resort. So we got Carbon Dapples again, really aggressive compositions. So those burst bombs will just kind of like cut off those routes where they want to move. Be really careful with uh, painting. You know that machine's dead. First one helped. There we are, a power clam. See the carbon there? I don't want to challenge that dynamo. My teammates challenged the carbon. That's good. I felt confident challenging the dapples, but. Teammates ready to follow up, but fed to the dynamo. We all watch this beacon this wall from the dapples. They can just easily flank from those. So again, first bomb. You know, the dynamo's a weak. So wait things out a bit. See the path to cooler up. But we know we don't want to engage unless we feel absolutely confident. I'm gonna try to defend here so they only get the ball. Now we just gonna wanna wait to get opening. This here teammate has seven, but he died. Sadly. Not the greatest challenge. I felt confident the dynamo taking long enough to swing. But it was weak enough so our teammate could finish it off. And that's almost what we want. If our teammate's able to trade back, that's honestly a beneficial for our team. Like, if you're able to trade back a teammate who died, then that just makes the fight even. It makes it a lot easier. Poke first bombs at the dynamo. Get him out. I have a wipeout of two balls and a crab, which is really strong for us. Because now I can crab and just hold. 
Bam, now he's a white bear again. I don't know if we have any more climbs. Oh, more climbs next to me. Now our, our, our at crab bears prolonged our push. That's how we got all the way to six. Once we did got that wipe out and we crabbed afterwards, we were able to hold in front. In front of the basket, and that's what made our push uh, so much easier. And again, we poked a lot with burst bombs as well, which is very nice. It helped our teammate a lot, it helped our teammates trade back if we weren't able to get a pick initially. And we use crowd in both an offensive and uh, defensive position as well. I just realized audio kind of peaked a little bit, so if it does seem a bit loud, my apologies. But we will do a couple more games. And we'll call it there. I'll also or I guess if you check out Sendo and you should search up my Discord tag, which is custom hash 1226 on Sendo, I will have my builds on there as well. So again, for this, especially in like both videos, like for Forge and Splashmatic, that way people can have an idea of what I play and what I'm more familiar with or comfortable with playing and what I was trying to share with people. And get back to Mahi and see what we're facing. Our comments are aggro, which is fine. They're playing a bit more supportive. Double 52. I guess 52 is like the one counter to splash to an extent. Just with the wall. Wall and the two shine capability. They have reflux. So this will just be a game of trying to support our teammates. See Bandle's burst bombs force those, that gal all the way back. I'm gonna crab after these missiles because crab during missiles is never a fun time. Kill the overextension. Crab here for safety. Okay, I tried to rush. Oh, I wanted to save the ball, but I can't save it. So it kind of later pushed a bit. But that's okay, because the teammates were able to follow up on it. See, now we, we, want, we feel comfortable pushing because we had enough plans to where... We weren't just a ball, and we were just scoring a ball, and that's it. Or a power climb, and that's it, rather. Now they're using like a lot of specials. We don't want, really want to engage, we just want to pay attention where they're wanting to push up from. Another killer whale. Okay, we want to pay attention to this upper ramp. The gal is weak because I hit my two burst bombs. These, these gals keep on coming, so I'm just going to charge my crab and probably crab to defend. If you get a bit further up. Or after missiles. I have to move out because of whale, which is... That reflex is one shot, but made it back up like all the way. That shot is weak. Again, our teammates are able to trade off, which is fine. I think some engagements is okay, especially if you know your team is ready to push up, because they can just fall up behind you and get the pick off. That gal is weak because of direct. Gal is risky. Shouldn't have stayed in that engagement there. That wasn't favorable. So now we just kind of have to Stop these guys from pushing up. Get rid of the cow. Now I want hard push. We have plenty of time, so there's no need to really rush. 
I have crab ray, so my team can probably give me a clam and I'll crab. Or we'll double crab here, actually. Oh, I ran into the missile, unfortunate. If I didn't die to the missile, I would have gotten a ball. Hopefully scored off that. That was really good, but we weren't able to take advantage of it. It's okay though, because we have plenty of time. Okay, now we really have to back up for the teammates to die. Now we don't really want to engage too much. I almost want Crab to get back in, but we have to wait out all their specials. I did not want to take the ball, that's just an accident. They walled, which is okay. Oh, way out the whale. Take lead off that, which is good. I'm just gonna try to stay alive. I saw the guy go around, so I'll probably stop him and help my teammate out. No, I think. Help my teammate. I almost have crab, so I'm just gonna hold crab and just defend. They start pushing really hard. Zuka gets me, but hopefully my teammate can stop it. Which it looks like they do. And I think that crab brought enough time. But those duelies felt like they had to push up. Not the duelies, or whoever had the ball. They had to push up. They had to push up by themselves, because my crab pushed them back. Or pushed the rest of their team back. Like, even though it wasn't really the greatest game mechanically, again, having those crabs just stall or make people back up a lot further. And again, it creates those splits, or like it can help create those 1v3s if you do get a pick or if you don't get a pick. Like, if you don't get a pick, you're just forcing people to back up. Or like, put them in a place where they're not really relevant to where they want to push or what they want to do. And just leaves the rest of their teammates kind of like stranded. So like, I bet you that 12 is probably a lot more assists. It's again, the burst bombs and... Pardon me, the crab pinching. <laughs> See, again, that, that was a lot more crab gameplay than last game. But even with the whales, like, people will just try to shut down your crab as well. That's another thing that needs to be pointed out. Pardon me again. Is that people will just try to shut down your crab? Like, whenever you use it, because people are just like, oh crap, just get the hell out of there. So, like, you saw, like, they used Whale on me a couple times. That's probably, like, one time they used Whale just to stop me from, I guess, causing pressure. Like, I'd stay alive, but I wouldn't really be causing pressure. If you can find some gaps to where they don't have specials, or they don't have stuff that would directly affect your crab, like, while you're using it, I guess. And that would be a better time to use your crab. Because, like, I wait for missiles, I wait for whales to be done before I use my crab. That way I would get the most out of it. This will be the last one for this video. I've definitely done a lot more burst bomb than paint, but... Splash can kind of, like, flex between all of them. Like, you don't want to play super passive with Splash either, so that's probably why I'm not painting a lot. Dog head there. Yeah, we're just gonna pay for our teammates because we can't really do much with the Hydra. They want to be aggressive. Death pinch, which is good on them. I want to see what the other team does. My teammates hold nicely. I think they're just kind of like stalling the bombs. I th oh no, they're stalling crabs. So again, that's a good example of defensive crab. This now allows me and the other 
person to get back into the game really easy. Now I use three Booyah Bombs though, getting much out of their push, or really anything out of their push. I can challenge this Chest Vulture, not the greatest trait, but could have totally been a cleaner pick. I could I could have waited till I was not marked anymore. Saw my teammate using Zuka, so I knew that was pretty good. Pretty good to jump in rather. Oh, vacuums can't do much. Vacuums gonna be used a lot defensively. Saw a guy there, so he's gonna have to respond to the machine. Just gonna annoy crap out of him. First bombs. Might crab again soon. This week, that's like the only reason why I challenged him. So now, that's like the only reason why I pushed the Hydra because I knew him twice with the crab and he just started to charge. <laughs> that's almost a good time to engage a backline or really engage anyone if you just follow up with your crab. And now we actually got a push off that. So it's like crab into transition. Pick into transition, sorry. I use two Buya bombs when we get two down, so it's not really useful. I don't know what Hydra wants to do. So we just pick him off for his mistake. I'll make a ball. I wanna give it to my teammate though. If they don't want it, it's okay. I see the Hydra just kinda like sitting back, so I'm just gonna paint. Just hold my ground. Crap more up front. Now since my crab held, and my teammate got picks. Because again, I think my crab just segmented the other team to where it, it became a stagger and also just kinda like a split at the same time. And that's also a thing as well with crab. You don't, you don't have to be like super far away to use crab. You can use it up front as well. Because again, it's still an HP special and it can still be used. Just kind of like to tank damage if you really need to. It's also a good crab practice for me personally. And again, we go 4 for 4 in our games, which is always nice to play. Or nice to play, nice to see. This was because we had an executed plan and we played to how we wanted to play. Again, some that somewhat support flex role as being a frontliner, as Splash typically is seen as. And I think that's about all I want to say on that. Again, Splash movement's nice with this build. Poke burst bombs, build crab if you can. When you use crab, try to be opportunistic with it. If there's a lot of specials being put on you, I would say wait until afterwards to use your crab. It's okay to be a bit more aggressive. It's okay to take some fights if you know your teammates can trade back because of the whole respawn loop. And I think that's about all I have to say about Splash. Again, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. And I'll see you in the next tips and tricks tutorial.